right how are we doing youtube um this is kind of a blanket version of a video that i've done for a couple of people now to kind of solve a few framing issues as well as streaming issues with obs there's loads of different versions out there that work for some people and don't work for others so this is just from my own personal point of view of um what makes a stream smooth not anything to do with how you present or anything but literally make it smooth um, so I'm just gonna flick screens there's a few kind of settings um, that, that you kind of need to be aware of first one you need to be aware of is your location um, that is rather important so I'll just move this over here um, I'm based in the UK the nearest server to me is London the best thing to actually do is check um, which one is the closest but also um, you you are able to give it a quick ping to see what a connection is so um, I have a fellow uh, community member called Queens Court uh, she lives in Connecticut which is very close to New York but it was actually better for her to connect to the Virginia servers um, because the New York, New York ones were just getting absolutely bombarded now Obviously, for me, it's London. Obviously, you've got stream key, you've got Twitch. That's the only thing you need to worry about when it comes to the service. So just pick one that's relatively close um, to you uh, for the best kind of out, um, for the best sort of connection. Sorry, it's 2 a.m. I'm trying here. But, um, right. A couple of things you really need to be aware of encoder, heavily debated. I always go for hardware because software basically is when OBS tells the processor how much CPU it wants to use, whereas hardware is where the CPU tells OBS what to use. Um, so right now I'm recording a video and I can shrink this one down and I'm currently running at uh, 7. 7% CPU, 9% CPU, because I moved the window. But um, it's, it's, it makes it really, really low. Um, so I try hardware, may surprise you. Don't make your audio bit rate any higher than 160. You don't need it, you don't need to. Um, when it comes to the video bit rate, uh, OBS tends to do, do like an automatic search and give Basically, it will maximize your upload speeds and it will maximize it to that. Um, what I recommend is at least take either 1,000 or 500 away. So if your um, recommended rate is 6,000, I would drop it down to 5,000. If your video bit rate is 250 or 3,500, reduce it down by 500. So um, for example, I'm gonna use Queen Court. I hope she doesn't mind. She had a recommended ping of around about 3,500. I Order to reuse down to 300 and the stream still looks absolutely fantastic and um, it runs a lot lot smoother and she's actually getting a better connection because you're taking less bandwidth um, going down everything else um, is entirely up to you um, obviously you've got your hotkeys you got your video but in regards to streaming it's this bit here that really seems to just fix everything um, it just seems to be the thing that brings it all together now your video output I can't change these right now because I'm recording but um, make sure that your base canvas is is matching your monitor okay not your game resolution but it's matching your monitor and your output is either matching or lower the higher your output the more stress you're going to put onto your CPU so be aware of that um, also your common FPS values if you are someone that streams consoles as well as PC you might need to make two profiles, one for console because most consoles run at 30 frames a second. Uh, if you're PC, you want to be running, you know, minimum of 60. Not all games, depending on what PC you own, can run it at that, but um, you, you, you want it around there. PC users, I actually recommend going to 59.94. Um, I stream on console as well, PS4, um, and I don't actually have another profile. Um, I've, even though I've just recommended that you do it, but, um, I still keep it at the common FPS values um, of 59.94. It just makes the stream a little bit slower, but otherwise um, completely watchable and no problem at all. Um, I play a lot of Spyro Dragon. So, you know, 27 year old man playing on PS4. What's not to love? Um, so yeah, just make sure that those are reasonable. Um, my downscale filter, I'm not quite sure if you can see it is uh, by cubic. Um, again, it's, it's, it sharpens the scaling, but 
it doesn't take any quality away and again it doesn't stress your cpu out and if you're playing games like overwatch with this heavy cpu usage it will be a lot more friendly okay and it's is to me it's just it's that simple give this a go give it hardware 160 uh, make sure your video bit rate is reasonable okay don't overdo it um most people watch 720p on their mobiles anyway so you don't need to push it for 4k or high end 1080 it's really not not necessary so um i hope this helps um let me know in the comments below or feel free to um check us out at twitch.tv forward slash but until next time folks what we'll see you later